What's up YouTube, back with another video and today I'm gonna be going over the Princeton Chin Freelance here in 2K23. I haven't done a freelance video in a while, like I haven't done one since the game first came out, but throughout all the different gameplays that I've gotten, I've used a number of different freelances. So I'm gonna be going over a few of them and today we're gonna be going over the Princeton Chin. And I really like this freelance to play through a center, especially somebody like Jokic, who's a really good passer, as well as someone that can create shots from the mid range and be a post up threat. And even though I'm showing Jokic, this can work for a lot of different centers, you know, Embiid and Sabonis come to mind, even historic guys like Kareem, Hakeem, Tim Duncan, if you use a mass center, Kevin Garner, if you use a mass center, there's a, a lot of different players that you can use this with. So I'm going to just be going over a few actions that you'll see as well as a couple of things that I like to do when I'm using this freelance. So with that being said, let's get into it. So when you come up the court, this is what you'll see. Uh, Jokic, he'll be at the foul line and either whether you bring it up on the left or the right, um, you'll, you'll have like this spacing right here and then you'll have two other guys on the wings. And the first action you'll see will be whoever is off the ball up here will get a, a screen from Jokic and kind of dive to the rim. And so when you bring the ball up, it tells you to either pass it here or here. But if you just hold the ball, then you'll get this right here. He'll set the screen and then he'll go back door. And if you don't make any passes, this will just keep looping over and over and over again. So I go to the other side and then now Caldwell Pope is going to be the one to get the screen and he's going to dive down. So you can either hit him on this pass. Sometimes he'll take this guy with him and you might have a three or you can just hold the ball. And again, Aaron Gordon comes up and it's the same thing. He's going to dive down. Sometimes he'll be open. Sometimes he won't. Most of the time he won't. But then again, this game is kind of weird because you like the game will allow you to make certain passes like this. So like you can throw passes like this in traffic and like the guy will still catch it, even though they really shouldn't. So even though like that action is never really open, like I, I guess you can use it more times than you think you would be able to. But yeah. That's the first thing that you'll see when you use this freelance, if you don't make any passes. So this time I do make one of these passes. Like I said, you either have this pass or this pass to Jokic. So I pass it down here to Jokic, and from here, you got a few different options. So both Murray and Gordon will, like, dive to the rim. So I could easily hit Murray right here for a layup. Gordon, he's pretty covered, but usually one of these guys will be open a lot. So it's a, that's a pass that you can make for some easy layups. But if I wait, then Gordon, he will get uh these this double screen, come out to the wing. So you got a potential three-point option here. And then um, Murray, he'll come out and go to the other wing. Uh, sometimes he doesn't set the screen. Sometimes he does. I don't know what's up with this game, but um, sometimes you might be able to get this right here. But um, from here, this is why I like players like Jokic or like centers that can create from the mid range, because if none of these options are open at this point, I would just create a shot for myself so from here i can either like back down and do a, um like a spin get to the rim you know all of these other guys right here are too small so i can just shoot over them if i get into the paint you know i could back down a couple times and then just hit them with a post spin i mean not a post spin a, a post fade um a hook like like i said i like players like Jokic because i can you know do all of that in the post but I could also do just cool stuff like this. And I just do a freaking spin shot in midi and I green it in his face. And yeah, we are on Hall of Fame. So I'm, I'm not playing on pro or nothing like that. And I got a and I got a gameplay with Jokic earlier in the year where I used the Princeton and Freelance. And I would do exactly that. Um I wasn't I wasn't using a lot of the other options too much. I would just come up to court. Give it to Jokic right there at the foul line. Look for guys cutting. Look for guys coming off the screens. If they weren't open, I just created the shot with Jokic.
So this time when I come up the court, I make this pass over here to Gordon and then I swing it over here to Caldwell Pope and then um, Murray, he'll get uh, a screen from Jokic and go back door. So sometimes this lob or this pass will be open, but here it's not open. So um, you just wait and then you either make this pass up. No, you either make this pass to Murray or to Jokic. Now, in order to like get this like decision right here, you can just come up the court and just pass it straight to whoever's on the wing to like get this right here. You don't have to, you know, be up here, make this pass, wait for him to cut and all that stuff. You can just um pass this ball right here and it'll go into this. Like I said, you can either pass it to Murray or Jokic. So this time I pass it to Jokic. Gordon, he dives to the rim. So sometimes this might be open. But I just hold the ball. Uh Murray, he gets this um screen from Caldwell Pope and it goes into this handoff right here and the floor is spread so once you come with this handoff a lot of times you'll be able to drive and so right here I drive but also on what happens on this side is uh Porter sets this screen for Gordon so um this is a potential three-point opportunity right here but once I come off the handoff I got the open lane so I get a layup So again, I make this pass over to Gordon and I swing it to Michael Porter. Uh, Murray, he gets the screen, dives to the, to the rim and then goes out to the corner. Last time I made this pass to Jokic, but this time I make it to Jamal Murray. And then uh, Porter Jr., he'll cut through. Sometimes he'll be open. If he's open, you could get him the ball. And then uh, Jokic will set this screen and whoever's out here, in this case is Gordon, he will dive to the rim too. So we got two cutting opportunities right here. And then Jokic sets another screen over here for Caldwell Pope. So he comes off this screen. You get a potential three option right here. And if you're not open. Uh, just wait. And then the play goes into pick and roll. And right here, I get the step back three. And you can also use one set of actions to flow into another set of actions. So uh, right here, I pass it off to Jokic. And like you get those two divers and then Murray comes up and I give him the ball. Let's say he's not open. Then the freelance goes into, you know, the wing actions, whether you could pass the Jokic or pass to the corner. And so I just pass the Jokic. You get that diver and then you get this right here. But right here, I just, you know, I make my own play. Cause I got a lot of space to work with. You got all these different actions happening and I got all this space. So, um, sometimes most of the times this is what I'm doing. Like I'm not using the, the freelance to get shots off the actions. They're more so for me anyways, like kind of like distractions just to get the defense moving, get to get them thinking about things and just to give me space as well as other options. If, I don't have an opportunity to score. So again, right here, I just I basically have a one on one. Uh, I spin to the lane, I force help, and then I get a corner three. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the actions you'll see. You might see a couple other actions here or there, but like they're kind of rare and I don't know what triggers them. You'll also see some actions in transition. They're usually just picking roles that you can create shots from. 
And like I said, me personally, when I use this, I just bring the ball up the court and pass it right to my center at the free throw line. I wait for the cutters and then like those three point options. And if nothing's open after those options, I just create a shot from the mid range. Um, a lot of the times I will call for an isolation just because your teammates are usually like pretty close to you. So I would just call the isolation to make them space out behind the three point line. And then I have a lot more space to work with. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. As always, I hope this helped you. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.